exciting. This is like what you hear about when you come to Chinatown in San Francisco, like you have to come here. What's up, T Nation? Today we are in Chinatown, San Francisco. We are so excited to show you this new part of the city that we've never been to before. So our first stop today in Chinatown is Dragon's Gate. And this has a really, like a lot of really cool history and a lot of symbolism. So the first cool thing is all of the tiles on the top were donated to San Francisco by the Republic of China in the 60s, which I think is really, really cool. And if you look closer, there are two lions protecting the pedestrian pathways. So one is a male lion that has his paw resting on a stone or a pearl. And then the female lion on the other side has her paw resting on a baby lion to symbolize like her protecting everyone inside the vicinity of Chinatown. We just stopped in a bakery and bought way too much stuff. I could have purchased one of every single thing they had in there. Everything looked so good. But we got a baked pork bun, turnip cake, which we've never had, and sesame ball, which I've never had before either, but I love sesame. Mmm. Way more like gelatinousy rice than I thought was gonna be going on in this. Not very sweet but pleasantly sweet. I think it's just like sweet red bean inside. That's really good. It's kind of like, it's fried like a donut and it's super gelatinous and that sesame flavor is like really strong and delicious. This is really good. Turnip cake. I don't know what turnip cake is. Honestly, this smells like french fries, which I guess that makes sense. Turnip is a very starchy root vegetable and it's definitely pan fried. Oh, this is so strange. For some reason I was like, oh, it's gonna be sweet, but I don't think it's gonna be sweet. <laughs> so it's also kind of like crabby. I don't know what's gonna happen with this. Tastes like turnips, but like, also like crab. Okay, so there are big pieces of turnip inside of it. I don't know if this is like a rice thing. If you know what turnip cake is, please let us know because I'm having a really hard time like figuring this out on my own. It's very savory, it's very gelatinous, but it's not like, it's not dense. It's really, really light, even though it's like a gelatinous cake that is pan fried and that is not sweet, but it's called turnip cake. I don't know. Whoa. Yes. Oh, he's like a YouTuber. Yes. He doesn't watch all of these videos. So we got a baked pork bun. Daniel got a steamed pork bun. Oh, <laughs> That's good filling. It kind of like reminds me of like a brioche kind of bread. It's like kind of sweet and very soft, and like golden. And the pork inside, it's like super salty, definitely soy, definitely some ginger. And this huge pork bun was $1.50. We got all of these things for less than $7. Now we are in Portsmouth Square, which in my opinion is the center of Chinatown. The first time I came to San Francisco with my family, we stayed in the Hilton, which is right across the street. And I would come out at night and see all these people playing Chinese checkers and cards. And it was like, I was really in a community. It was so weird to be in the middle of the city and have all these older gentlemen playing cards like all around the park. We've been to China, we stayed there for a month, two years ago, and it was just like this. The only thing that's missing are people dancing for exercise to songs, but I haven't ever been here at sunset when that normally happens. So this is the place to be. Little cups. What's that suction thing? Fun. Yeah. This cute. Oh, that's a huge mug. It's a huge mug. That's what we need. Yes, one day. One day. When we go back to China we're wearing that and this hat. Look at this hat. Bloop. Ooh, 39 cents each. 
We've been meaning to like send postcards out to our family members, and this is like the perfect place to buy some. That's a really good one. Let me just go. Oh, oh. Okay, so now we're in line for the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory, which is the, I think it's like the creator of the Fortune Cookie. The Fortune Cookie is not a Chinese actual like cultural anything. It's just like something that they created here in San Francisco. And this is like the oldest bakery in Chinatown. And they make fortune cookies by the masses. And they have all these different flavors. So I'm really excited. There's a long line to get in. You can see the owner inside like helping people. So this is really exciting. This is like what you hear about when you come to Chinatown in San Francisco. Like you have to come here. And I can't believe we're in line. I think so. Yeah. Yay. Tell us what you guys think. It smells like a waffle cone. Like the smell in there is the most delicious like waffle cone ice cream shop smell, but it's just fortune cookies. It's just like sugar and butter. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Slightly sweet, warm, crunchy, very thin. I just like can't get over the smell. I think it's also some vanilla in there. Oh, it smells so good. So we got a bag of fresh black sesame. Whoa! And some chocolate covered ones. And the lady like put a bunch of these like just came out of the oven plain ones in the bag too. What is this again? Black sesame. It tastes like sesame. You can taste the sesame a little bit, but it just mainly tastes like fortune cookies. I think the coolest part is that they make the fortune cookies in there. They have this machine that pads down these flat things, and then all of a sudden it gets twisted by hand and put the message inside and then seal that up. It's all done by hand. It's all handmade. That's crazy. They still do that from 1962. I am so excited. Last time I had a sweet cream was in China. I didn't even know what I was ordering there. It was actually a crazy order process where we had to call the manager, which is like the only person that the people that worked there knew speak English. And here, the guy spoke English and he was like, you want this, this, and this, and this. And I was like, yes. Brown sugar boba milk tea with the foam and the boba at the bottom. Oh my God. Oh my god, this is so good. I can't believe today turned into a food tour. Well, I know. I guess I kind of can believe that it turned into a food tour. I had kind of like an inkling that it would. Like, we don't have this normally where we are. So obviously Chinatown is a big deal. There mm -hmm. aren't that many in the United States. And like this one just happens to be one of those amazing Chinatowns arguably, in America. Arguably the best Chinatown and yeah. the, in fact, the largest Chinatown in the United States. Really? Yes. And the oldest. Interesting. We still have one thing left on our food tour, unofficial food tour. I don't really know. And that is an egg tart. We actually found a bakery, I really hope it's open, that has the regular egg tart and then a white egg tart. Like I've never egg had whites. One of those. I know. Alright, now we came to Yummy Cafe to find white egg tarts, but they had mooncakes. It's really like a Fig Newton, like if you're from America, you know what that is. Just like a really, really thin layer of cookie around like a date cake kind of. We just waited 20 minutes for this egg white tart to come out of the oven and it was really long but well worth the wait because this thing is warm, it is jiggling. Now we've only ever had regular egg tarts. So I'm, they only use egg whites. So I'm really curious what the taste difference is going to be. If there's any textural difference, I don't know. Uh -huh. It's not very sweet at all. This thing is piping hot and so it has a very like very strong egg flavor. Maybe it doesn't have as much like fat or cholesterol in it because it's only egg whites and maybe that's like messing with the texture. Or maybe we've only ever had them when they're cold, so like that's all we've ever known. This tastes a lot different to me than a regular egg tart. It also smells really eggy. I'm not sure that this is better than a regular egg tart. Just burn him. <laughs> He's burnt forever. It's like sweet. <laughs> it's 
It's just different. It's less sweet. Yes? Yeah, but it's like a sweet because it's so eggy. It's very eggy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. so it's it's less good because there's less fat. Yeah. Less room for it to be a sweet? It tastes less custardy. It tastes more like just like sweet egg. Okay. Which is odd. Now for this regular egg tart with the yolks and all the cholesterol and all the fat and all the goodness. Mmm. Mmm. Like it's a very thick crust. The like custardy creaminess of an egg tart is so good. It's just such like a unique flavor and texture. I'm not sure about that egg white one though. It was a very interesting try. I'm glad we bought it, but I don't think I would get it again. Whew, that food tour was amazing. I don't even know. Are you impressed with San Francisco Chinatown? Way impressed. <laughs> the most impressed. It is the biggest Chinatown I've ever been to, I've ever seen, I've ever had the uh, opportunity to enjoy delicious treats and dim sum and buns and even egg tarts. I'm so glad I finally got to bring you here. I've been here like 17 times and you're finally with me. I was having this thought earlier. What makes exploring like Chinatown so fun is that like everything's just so inexpensive. So like people on a budget like we are all the time. It's like easy to do that like spending shopping spree. Like mm -hmm. that little bit of like commercialism like just like adding because to the Because we never do that, yeah. Yeah, so it's just like a really big event for us in general. Because we can buy so much stuff. Because we can buy so much stuff. It's so inexpensive and we love it. So this was a really great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, they got to sing it. We're 